Hello guys, welcome back and in this video I want to share how I will approach or the path that I will take to become a full stack developer, alright, a full stack software developer. So there are many approaches and there are many suggestions out there but this is something that I'm just sharing from experience and the best way I've learned on how to become a full stack developer or a full stack software developer and so the first thing i will do is that in a couple of around let us say two to three months i'll learn all the basic requirements of web development all right and by basic development i mean something like html css javascript php maybe in the back end maybe some people would prefer python or ruby on rails and then sql all right so while learning these languages or while learning these basics I won't really focus on building a real world project, but I'll focus on understanding on how to build something with this or with these fundamentals. All right. So maybe on the on the HTML, I'll basically learn how to display a page, how to to flex the different containers, the different div on a on a web page, you know, with the CSS. So the first two weeks I'll focus on HTML. The next two weeks on CSS combined with HTML that I've learned. Now on the next three weeks, I'll focus on PHP, understanding everything that comes with PHP, majorly on the logic part, that is the functions, the arrays, you know, all those things, the classes, the object-oriented part. And once I've had a good grasp of this, I now study something like SQL. You know, SQL is quite easy. So I can take around, let us say, two to three weeks and I've been able to learn quite a good part that can enable me to interact with PHP. And so after this one month, two months, whatever the time that I've taken to understand these things, I'll dive in into a framework, all right? And now while working with a framework, it might be Laravel for PHP, it might be Django, it might be Flask, it might be Codel Igniter, it might be Symfony. So depending on whatever the framework I'll be working on, I'll work now on a real world project, all right? On a real world project. And the thing about framework is that the framework will force you to bring all this loose part and everything that you have basically learned in the first one month or two months together, all right? So while building a real world project, I'll be forced to understand how to integrate, you know, the front end part that I've learned HTML into Laravel. I'll be forced to understand how to perform joins and how to, you know, get data from different tables, joining tables into Laravel. I'll be forced to understand how to style these pages in Laravel. And also again with the framework, the framework will force me to apply the best coding practices while building this project. And also it comes with a lot of many advanced practices that will help me to just become better while building a real world project, all right? And the reason why I recommend building a real world project with the framework is that many a times, even now, when you go into the corporate world, people are not necessarily using this vanilla PHP, vanilla JavaScript, or this vanilla programming language. People are moving towards using more frameworks to build to build project. Why? Because it is fast, easier, and it's also efficient. It is also secure so people are preferring to hire people who know how to use this framework so definitely i'll learn this framework for quite some time and once i finish building real world project with this framework whether it is django laravel whatever the framework i'll now build apis all right using the same framework that i've learned i'll now build api why because API basically requires that you have a good understanding of database, a good understanding of some framework if you are to build some very good APIs, all right? So now this will be a good transition to help me build real world APIs. So I can build an API, maybe let us say an API for managing an account, an API for managing maybe music, whatever, but just real world API that will bring all these skills again together. And once I've finished building this API in the backend, I can now move to the front end part. And in the front end part, I can now integrate these backend APIs with some specific front end framework. This might be something like 
Flutter, something like maybe a Vue.js, something like React.js, you know, depending on my choice, I can just work on consuming these APIs that are built with a front-end framework. And also in the course of learning this front-end framework or in the course of consuming these back-end APIs, you'll be forced to understand also the key important part of this front-end framework. And in the meantime, also you'll be learning the UI part of this framework. And so not only will you be building something meaningful, but you'll also be learning the framework that you desire to learn, all right? And after time, you'll also be well versed with this front-end framework. So that is the part that I'll take personally if I'll go back and study to become a full-stack developer, all right? I'll start with the basic for around one month and then I'll dive into a framework. And then after learning the framework, I'll dive into building APIs. And then after building an API, I'll move to the front end and consume these APIs using a specific framework. All right. And then this path will carve you to not only understanding your strong point, because at the end of the day, the full stack the full stack developer, they're not really like full stack, like they are perfect on everything, but they are really good at one thing, maybe the front end frameworks or maybe the back end frameworks. So in the course of doing this, you'll be, you'll be acquainted with what really lies best with you, you know, with what really resonates with you. So in the course of doing all this, you'll be able to understand your strong points. So that is how basically I will approach my journey to becoming a full stack developer. And with that, guys, let me know what you think of the same. And don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to leave a like, leave a comment. And until we meet again, guys, bye bye.